Hello everyone, Karen and Marika here from the Cart Horse Protection Association and you are watching Coffee with Cart Horse. We really hope you enjoyed the last two programs showing you our deworming and dentistry inserts. These services we offer for free. If you missed them, you can still view them on our YouTube channel as well as on our Facebook page and you can see firsthand where your donations are going to. We also hope that you are enjoying our little live streams that we are posting on Facebook during the week, like the trip Marika and I took on Monday collecting calendar money. Folks, we attended the Horse Expo on Sunday, organized by the Equinox Trust, and what an event it was. Monte Cavallo performed several times, but the best was the Mare and Foal Parade. She was the cutest and most confident foal I have seen in ages. The Western Cape Riding Club and the South African Lipizzanus were there as well, including our very own Marika, who did incredibly well in the heat. After their show, the Lipizzanus, we were allowed to meet them, and it was like touching a celebrity or a royal member. It was an absolute treat for me. I absolutely loved it. And thank you, Arco360, for once again sponsoring our stand and to the Equinox Trust Girls for putting on a really first class show. They too have adopted one of our horses called Spirit, who is an amazing um, equine welfare therapy horse. Oh my goodness, I get goosebumps all over again seeing those Lipizzanas. I'm clearly a Lipizzana fan from now on. <laughs> but today we'll be talking to Taryn, our new equine welfare trainee, to see how she's been doing over the last month. And then we'll be telling you about a little foal who went on to show jumping. So please stay tuned. Taryn, hi. You've <laughs> been here for a month already. How's your experience been so far? It's been amazing, very eye-opening. Um, it's been incredible. We've been to the Sweden farm and all the informal settlements where the horses are and the deworming. How do you find the people and the horses? Very, the people have been very friendly, uh, very nice. The horses um, do need to put on weight. Um, we are assisting with that. Um, it's all education, but they're doing the best they can, and we're here to help them. So, and what has been your biggest, biggest eye opener? Because you, you, your background is very really different. So, the biggest eye opener for me is the, the seeing the pov poverty. It's very sad. Um, the some people sleep in the same room as their horses, but their horses are their livelihood. So, they um, doing their best they can and uh, it was uh, such a culture shock for me but uh, they're doing the best they can and we did it 
Yeah. What difference would you like to see? What, what difference would you like to make change for? I would like to make sure that no animal suffers. So we would like to assist them medically, um, feed assistance, any way possible. So I just don't want any, any other horses to suffer. Um, where it's giving them deworming, vaccinations, I just want them to be healthy and happy. And you've been doing field work, you've been doing, seeing veterinary, Diana doing that, um, you've been on patrols, is there any specific area that, that sort of takes your interest more than the other, or do you like the holistic approach that we have? I like it all, but I must say the veterinary is the most okay. interesting yeah. to me. I have always had a love for veterinary and um, I love to see the, the outcome at the end, the animal responding to the medication getting better. And you, like I said, you've been here for a month. Have you seen um, a big difference that Cartridge has actually made over the last 25 years? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. Um, what we do. Uh, it's amazing what we do. There's so much. There's so much people don't see. Um, we go out there, we deworm these horses, we shoe them, we, I mean, they, we help with feed assistance, we um, help them fix their carts, we, we fix their harnesses, we do so much for the horses. We do. And then, what, what would you say would be the major challenge for you going forward? For me, um, is when the horses are neglected. I, unfortunately, you're never going to stop at all, but you just need to keep trying and educate and um, do the best we can. So there's always going to be neglect, and um, it's hard to see it, but we just need to help them the best we can. And that is why we've employed four new equine welfare trainees, so we can be more on the road, be more out there, educate more, and we are so happy to have you. And, and I can't believe one month has come and gone already. I know, it went so fast, um, but I think that's a, a good sign because we're having, we're having fun. I mean, we enjoy, this is a passion for us, animal welfare, and we just want to make a difference and get the, these horses happy and healthy. That's our main, our, our main target. Thanks so much, Karen. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having me. You're welcome. Oh, wow. She's so lovely and so in it and so passionate about, about being here. But folks, as I mentioned at the end of the video, this, there's, this is basically another reason for you to support us. We have more field staff on the road that are able to get to your complaints quicker, do more home checks, and get to the horses that are in need quicker as well. But patrolling and monitoring costs money, equal petrol costs. So please donate. This is the reason we actually host this program every week, as we're hoping to get more, more donors on board. <laughs> if you've just joined us, you are watching Coffee with Cart Horse on a Wednesday afternoon. Nearly said Tuesday there. <laughs> Welcome to everybody. If you've missed any of our previous episodes, please go to our website, carthorse.org.za forward slash coffee with cart horse and you can watch all of the previous episodes so we are now on episode 36 so there are 35 other episodes that you can go and watch and learn all about the organization and remember to share it with your family share it with your friends share it with your enemies share it with everybody <laughs> far and wide far and wide so that everybody knows about cart horse everybody knows what we do um, and when you make a donation, because we really would like you to make donations, when you make a donation, please reference your donation as Coffee with Cartels or just CWCH or Coffee, just so we know that you are donating because you watched this program. Um, there's also, if you go to our website, it's super, super easy to make a donation. I'm going to give you the link. There we go, carthorse.org.za forward slash donate. And you just click on the bright orange button and you go to the donation page. And it's very, very simple. 
It takes you to a secure payment portal and you can pay with a credit card, debit card, and you can make a monthly donation. You can make a single donation, any amount. We're not fussy, big, small. We love them all. Thanks, Marika. And folks, up next, a remarkable story about Jones. The RSPCA was alerted by social media about a cult that was being neglected. Inspectors seized Jones from a site in West Yorkshire in 2016, along with two other horses, and he was gradually nursed back to health. Pippa Atherton and her family took him in three years later, and he just flourished. Four months after he arrived at their farm, Pippa, the girl in the picture, made her show jumping debut with Jones for the country team, and he achieved two clear rounds. This is my best part of the, of the, in the story. The RSPCA, RSPCA said, Jones shows that rescued animals should not be written off. It can feel even more rewarding when they thrive. And this part I also like even more is that Henry Brewer, 48 years old, was sentenced to 180 hours of unpaid work and costs of 1,500 pounds after being convicted in 2017 for causing unnecessary suffering to these three horses. I wish we could have the same kind of outcome with our horses that are, are neglected and abused. And, and it just shows you that rescue horses are very, very special. And, and as I mentioned earlier on our own spirit that has gone on to do amazing and wonderful things. Folks, if you have missed any of these interesting episodes, as we said, they are on YouTube, on Facebook, and remember to share. We need more exposure. We need more support. And Marika, until next Wednesday, be safe and take care. Thank you. You too. <laughs>